Swing and a high fly center field. It's deep enough. Way back it goes. And this ball is gone. A grand slam on the flat pole. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The Red Sox quickly rebounded after having their 10-game winning streak snapped on Friday. Tied a two apiece with the Blue Jays on Saturday at Fenway. Xander Bogarts launched a walk-off grand slam in the 10th inning, propelling Boston to a 6-2 win, their 11th victory in their last 12 contests. It was the first walk-off grand slam for the Red Sox since 2000. Now let's take a look at the rest of Saturday's action. How do you like that? I mean, how do you like that? So Roman gets, as they say, a little league home run, and the Yankees take a 5-4 lead. A franchise record tying 19 runs by putting five on the board in the seventh, eighth, and ninth innings. Another base hit. Fifth hit of the night for Jose Peraza and his 8-2 Reds. Following the game, the Cardinals announced they fired manager Mike Matheny, along with hitting coach John Mabry and assistant hitting coach Bill Miller. Matheny has steered the ship for St. Louis for the past six and a half seasons. Bench coach Mike Schilt will take over as interim manager. How about this Diamondback pitching? They have been absolutely outstanding in this series. Zach Greinke about as good as we've seen him ever throw. Back to back jacks. First Reddick, now Gaddis. And he's feeling good after snapping that over. Out of here. Cole Calhoun, who had a pair of home runs last night, blasts one out here in the 10th inning. Here in the fifth, one swing to get three. And yeah, the Mets are in great shape now. And did Conforto ever need that, too, because he hasn't hit a lick here at home. Soaring out of here, and the Pirates go back-to-back. -back. Home run derby on a Saturday afternoon. The same combination that hit back-to-back -back homers in the first inning of Game 1. They do it again in Game 2 in the eighth inning. Three-run homer, Javier Baez, and the Cubs have broken it wide open. Listen to these Cub fans in San Diego. Mark Canna knows, out it goes, into the night. Off the bench for Mark Canna, and the A's are in front, four to three. And they're going berserk. Oriole fans get a chance to celebrate because their Orioles are back in the win column. On a line, I mean that ball left the ballpark in a hurry. Carlos Gonzalez with a two-run shot, and the Rockies take the early lead. And the Marlins have beaten the Phillies on a combined eight-hit shutout of the Phillies. Danny Duffy has a one-two-three bottom of the seventh and seven scoreless innings. For more on these stories and all the latest from around the majors, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.